Kids who exercise regularly, do better in school, attend more classes, score higher in tests, and feel better about themselves. All that is according to studies, experts, and teachers themselves. Rospel Pena is a two-time Teacher of the Year award winner in the Mission School District. He's been an educator for more than two decades and now teaches sixth grade math at Alton Memorial Junior High. I teach kids of, of all kinds and I notice that the ones that are athletically fit and, and they like to do athletics and sports, they tend to be very alert and active in class and for the most part they do seem to be academically excelling. Alton Memorial has PE for its students every day. The state of Texas doesn't require daily physical education. Instead, the state leaves it up to local school districts to decide how much time kids are active during the day. Texas doesn't even mandate daily recess. The only stipulation is that kids are active two to three hours a week. The McAllen ISD is hoping to lead the pack in physical education. The school district is getting a $2 million grant from the federal government, including various other grants to hire more PE teachers, buy new equipment, and feed kids healthy snacks throughout the day. Here at Jackson Elementary, they're using their grant funds to repaint the blacktop with new basketball lines and areas for hopscotch and foursquare. There's a lot of evidence that shows that movement grows brain cells. The teachers are being encouraged to move their kids around in the classroom as much as possible because movement does a lot for the brain and that's uh, the evidence is clearly there. PE is no longer about dodgeball, tiny shorts and climbing ropes. Simply moving and having fun seems to be the key at young ages. A projector at Roosevelt Elementary in McAllen encourages students to show off their dance moves and burn calories before returning to the classroom. When you go back into the classroom after PE, how do you feel? Mm, you feel strong. Um, smart. Me so smart. How smart? Really smart. A hundred percent, I think. Belinda Jordan is a bariatrician at the Renaissance Institute in Edinburgh. She also taught elementary school before putting on the white coat. When people exercise, their bodies release natural hormones called endorphins, and those endorphins make them feel good. Um, I think especially for children, it's a, it's a way of stress relieving. It's a way of helping them concentrate more. Uh, so I think that overall it's helpful in their studies. Dr. Jordan says if she were putting together a PE curriculum, she would have the kids exercise later in the day so they can burn off the sugar and calories from lunch. They can then return to class energetic and ready to learn. Pena sees the benefits firsthand in his class. Our kids get to go outside and, and unleash their energy. When they come back after lunch, they're very energetic and, and they're alert. You know, sometimes you think, well, it's the afternoon, they're going to be cutting up. But uh, they, they, they are more energetic. A national study found Texas to be one of the 12 states with a high obesity rate at more than 30 percent. Another ranking by the National Education Association says the state is 49th in the U.S. in spending per public school student. And last year, Texas high schoolers matched the state's lowest SAT scores in more than a decade. While making sure our kids get regular vigorous exercise may not fix all these problems, education researchers are now unanimous that it would be a step toward a brighter future. Reporting from McAllen, Kevin Liu, KVEO, News Center 23. Let's go! There he comes. Stop tattletailing. Get out of here. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Boy, run and run now.